Hi everyone, welcome to this latest video. In this video I just want to introduce some uh, new driver training software we've developed. Um, so in this one, if you've been keeping up with the series of videos I've done recently, you'll know that I've been making more and more um, bits of training software to help primarily professional drivers but sim drivers as well develop reaction times and focus and things like that. Um, whoop. In this one, if I can keep it on track, in this one you'll see when we get to a breaking point a, a yellow transparent indicator pops up on screen. Like so. And that's programmable, just based on text file, so that you can use a better driver's data or your own data from a really good lap or from a series of good laps, put together a, a lap of, of good breaking points to help yourself um, you know, via muscle memory and practice just develop a good clean consistent lap time and time again. Oh the AI go. Um, obviously if you're a driver coach this is useful for being able to describe to your student where oh, where to break. And one thing we can do for the point at the at the point when we don't want to use the app any longer, we just want to um, rely on our knowledge, we can get to a breaking point like here, stop, and pick up some visual information that we can remember uh, to indicate the breaking point in the normal way in future. So like it would be, you know, being able to see that uh, green this green flashing um, flag marker post at the moment I suppose just short of the 50 meter board so at the moment it's only available in R Factor but in R Factor 2 um, but we are developing an iRacing version um, so I'd be interested to know, so please make a comment um, what your feelings are on the on the concept but also what platforms you'd like to see it on. I um, believe it's possible to do in the Seto Corsa but I haven't really looked it, into it very in any great detail. Um, so let's just take a little look at how we get the data, write the text file and run the program and then we'll come back and have a little bit more of a drive and demonstrate the changes that we made. Okay so when we start the program this is what we're confronted with. So you'll see here it says not connected that's because the game isn't running and it's not connected yet. You need to start this app before R Factor 2 and then from the file menu open your sample um, set of data points for breaking. Um, it will tell you in the file we can put what circuit it's from and what car we were driving so that because you know, there's going to be differences uh, it just highlights what file we've um, selected and here we've got the reaction time which is the driver's reaction between seeing the indicator and hitting the brake pedal now the fastest it's likely to be is quarter of a second for someone like me it's more likely to be about um, 0.35 to 0.5. Um, age and not a great deal of experience goes into um, the reason behind that. So let's just take a little look at the text file that gives us the breaking points. So it's simple, we can open it in Word and we can edit it in, uh, open it in Notepad and we can edit it in Notepad. 
So here we go, the first two lines after the um, double forward slashes are first circuit and then car. And that can be anything you want, that's just a note really for your, for your own um, sake so you know what it is uh, when you pull it up <coughs> in future. And then we've got a series of breaking points. You can have as many as you want um, or as few as you want. Obviously, first breaking point is at 144 metres, second 609, third 951, fourth 1812 and fifth 2321 meters after the start line this is the game registers the start line as zero lap distance quite obviously uh, and it resets every lap there's no need for a, like an accumulative um, total um, so it restarts every lap it recompares the file every lap um, so you can run this for as many laps as, as you want as you need to how do we get that data that's pretty simple open a data logger with some data take a look at so here we've got a lap of data from Silverstone International and I'll turn it off to start with so that we can turn it back on click channels Oop, channels double click brake position and you'll get this yellow trace pop up. If we move along to anywhere where it goes from zero break and starts to climb is our breaking point and it obviously this got to be a lap that we're happy with or from another driver or something we want to use as our indicator. If we look down the bottom here it gives us a distance um, from the start line of 133 meters. So we can put that in our text file as our first point. We can move along to the next time it goes, the brake trace goes high, 614. And the next point, 954. And the next, 1784. And lastly, 2309. Put that in our text file and save it and that is what our game will read in and indicate. Okay so once we've we're happy with that and we've loaded it in to this program all we've got to do is start our factor 2 and if we look we'll get this the not connected will turn We'll start showing some other data. We know it's connected to the game. Race. So once we're back in game, as soon as we pass the first marker point in the file, we'll get, there we go. Even though it's in the pit lane, it's because we've just gone past the pit, uh, the start finish line. time we get to our breaking point the indicator will come up so hope that's obvious what the aim of the game is and how it works how to use it uh, like I say please uh, leave us some feedback in the comments section it's always nice to know what people feel um, you, people, yeah, collectively people seem to be a lot more creative and um, give good direction for d further development of these things um, let us know what games or what sim titles you use and if this is something that you'd fancy <coughs> trying out in your particular uh, sim title and uh, we're getting close to a thousand subscribers now. I think we only need 15 more at the point of making this video. 
So it um, would be really cool if you could subscribe and get the opportunity to do a few more cool things with videos Ooh, once you go past a thousand subscribers. And to finish, a nice crash with an AI. Okay, so once again, thanks for watching. Until next time, uh, goodbye.